Hola. Hi to everyone. I'm not sure if this is a streaming. Ah. Yeah, I think now it's a streaming. So hello to everyone. Uh, I'm Nanook uh, from XGen and this is live here that way. This is live. How's it? How's it, guys? Evening, guys, on this Sunday on, I don't even know what day of lockdown we're having here in South Africa. I think we're like 70 or something like that. But yeah, hopefully everybody's doing well out there. How are things going your side, Manu? How are th things in good old Spain? Well, I have to say, uh, I'm going to phase three in uh, Monday. So tomorrow I'm on phase three, and after that, I suppose in two weeks, I go to phase four. So I'm thinking on leave my new look and go back again to my normal Nanook uh, style. Also, I got a party with some friends on my home, and things are getting a bit better here. It's not about uh, everything is uh, fixed and everything is nice. There is a lot of problems on the cities still, like Barcelona and Madrid. They are on another phase and everything. But uh, the feeling that everyone have here is a bit more positive. I have to say, uh, well, in a way, I wasn't expecting that... Uh, good mood that everyone have lately i was expecting like this will be longer and people is like here uh, trying to reactivate things really fast i don't know it's just scary in a way because maybe it didn't work and maybe we come back in two months to the same point we was in the beginning or maybe not maybe we beat it on a way or what else but uh, who knows who knows for now i'm just trying to <laughs> readapt myself all the time and trying to enjoy my Small freedom they give me. <laughs> oh man, it's all about the small victories nowadays. So, but yeah, I mean, we've just recently went into stage three um, here. We still do not have the the legal sale of cigarettes, although alcohol became available. Um, it's only available between Monday, Monday to Thursday, I believe, eight to six p.m. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I know there's still huge limitations, huge limitations with it. So, yeah, it's been a, it's been a bit of an, an adjustment. I know a lot of people that have been going back to work. I mean, generally, there's no curfew now with traveling uh, here. Uh, so that's, that's always a, a good thing. But they still encourage people to essentially stay at home and stuff. So I'm still... In that scenario i was actually going to go visit my family this weekend and they said no but the government said that you're not allowed to come visit us and i'm like oh well cheeks like so <laughs> so yeah i'll have to postpone that that get together for the near future but yeah besides from that besides from that to like just trying to go through the motions outside i mean as you know we've been doing a you and I have been like trying to work together quite a bit. We did that live net party last weekend, the nocturnal, and I mean that turned out pretty damn well. I mean, it was a nice one, on, eh? the, on the whole event, now actually taking time to actually, you know, absorb it because it was a twelve-hour push on your part. So, yeah, man, it was so Before amazing that all the artists get involved so easy and so fast and everyone wants to was kind of uh, excited and, and happy to take in part on it you know it was so amazing like uh, we had a really good feeling about uh, because uh, all the artists was sharing and getting into the others the streams and like uh, it was a party a real one it was nice uh, in a way come on we are on home slope so there is a few things we can do but in a way we was a bit more free kind of a small party digital party okay but people was following the streams and that that was the same people tagging each other and uh we had amazing music all the time like all the time that was the the i was sure okay because uh, i know the names and i know most of them are my friends and come on it was a super from the beginning just on the on the flyer it should be a good one but then it's about the artist to deliver his best music or his best efforts and and come on you see the live act of cpu or the music of shift or 
the versus uh, Wapali did or everyone, everyone, everyone. Like everyone did an amazing job. This fucking movie, uh, Stereopanic did and uh, everyone was doing amazing things a bit more far. I was feeling bad because I was playing same as I did always, you know, with my phone <laughs> on my stage and I was seeing everyone like having having the backgrounds and the logos and everything. And I was like, okay, I'm so fucking analogic right now. What's the fuck? So come on. Yeah, it was amazing. I don't know. I, I, I was feeling really happy about it um... and it worked out so well i mean auto it, like obviously artists like like cpu and shift were just a treat out of signal delivered the goods uh, as always i think one of the more surprising sets that people really got blown away by was roby i mean yeah. he, he pretty much like you, you know he's very subtle when it comes to his promotion he doesn't really have like a proper active like page or any of that. So for people to literally have followed the party through its progression and get to the end of the shift set and then hop onto the drop land page and watch this killer live set from Roby. I think, yeah, I think he built a, uh, yeah, I think he built on a quite a bit more of a name after that night. It really, he really delivered the goods as did the concept nemesis TCN also did great. I mean, they, Man, it's all like, them, all them. The Even DCN, uh, it have a small problem uh, with the with the stream. Yeah. So he have to begin a bit after. But even like that, it was a short one. But man, people can see what's the quality of the music he's making now, and he put a super nice background on that and everything. It was amazing. I don't know uh, <clears throat> what to say. Uh, from the beginning till the end, everyone do his best. I think and. Uh, People that love that music, oh, man, you... they can see we are a bit more together than they can imagine. Because in the end, it was a worldwide party. We have connections in Australia, in Japan, in in in, in, in Israel, in Spain, in Mexico, in Brazil, in USA, uh, South Africa, South and Africa. Austria, it... Man, it, Spain. <laughs> it was it, it really. I mean, if that was an outdoor festival. If you had just extended everybody by one hour longer, man, that's a that is probably one of the most killer banging lineups you could hope for for an outdoor. I think, and I mean, man, again, yourself also included. The X Gen set was fantastic. I mean, it was full power stuff. I'm still blown away that every time I hear tunes from you, you've always got some new shit that I have not heard. It's it blows me away. Why? It's because like every damn time, I, I'm, because we have that like, live acts, you know. know uh, it's... People, people know that we are not that active uh, releasing music, but everyone that see us playing, they know that we work a lot on the live acts. Like uh, we have different versions always that the people have on his homes with the music and everything. So uh, I don't know. It, sometimes it's not even a new tracks what you're hitting is the deeds of old tracks or parts that we never release or things like that that we are including on the live act to tell you the truth that live act it was from a from a party i played it in spain that i modified it a bit because they asked me to make a, a bit longer set and it was one hour and a half instead of one hour so before i begin to play on the party i was like okay i should play one hour but then uh, it can be cool if I continue half hour more. So I will upload that uh, that live act that they have is a bit longer, which uh, I will give half hour more to the people. So part is uh, half hour longer. So in a way, I know that, but no one knows that. So when I was playing, when it have to be the hour, I was writing on the chat like, OK, guys, I'm continuing half hour. I don't know. So, Stay if you want or go, but I have to continue half hour more. So it was really nice. I have to tell you, uh, I'm really happy that uh, people show the support and also the the streams. Not only was so good and so interesting, and also on the number of views on every stream, man, it was a huge uh, streams and huge comments, and it was huge numbers. Uh, Compared with most of the other artists, we wasn't the same. And we have to think this is quite in special because 
we are a small music in the end you know it's a it's not that we have a lot of followers everywhere and we have that or that so it's really nice that people from around the world join us on that and i have to say especially to the people from mexico and from brazil that help us on stream that and and make all the promotion and everything lado b and lado a from so brazil awesome. and then quantica decoration from brazil and then uh, psychedelic minds from mexico and and also just the race from mexico they always give us support okay as a label as an as artist and they love our music but on that party they make it quite special uh, because they know it was special for us maybe too so man i'm really it happy was. that people it join was. us and do that i i i believe you do have some speaky plans in the cards involving a drop land stream well we have... do you want to maybe go into a little bit of details well yeah yeah why not let's do something uh, uh we have a we create a twitch account okay and um this uh it doesn't have any followers it doesn't have nothing any content nothing so i was thinking okay to make it work uh we will make kind of a Droblan and friends party in a couple of weeks maybe uh, i want you to join and some friends from south africa and also i already asked it to some friends from around the world which is uh killer Bot is joining us and goblin x is joining us and wapali is joining us and well a lot of Droblan artists and some friends more i ask and own trip also is joining us too so it will be a long one we are not sure about the if it will be eight hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, we are not sure yet. We are trying, just trying to set up the people is ready and wants to do it. And then we will give you more information. And we will begin to promote it or what else, but it will be different. We will be promoting it on Facebook and creating an event. But uh, the truth is uh, it will be on Twitch. Like the party will be on the same page all the time and people will follow the streams without changing page but it's outside Facebook, they will have to go to Twitch, okay? Uh, once again, we are doing that. Uh, first, to have a party with the people. Second, to give a bit more of a exposure and uh, give more of room to our artists um, with a longer party. And, and also, we want the people to join us on this Droblan Twitch because we want to begin to stream some content on the, on the future. So we want you there to just get advices, everyone, we are going to stream or we are going to yep. do a set or we are going to finally a party and we're going to stream something. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm excited though. I mean, it's definitely a great idea. I've seen the guys in Japan have been doing it and it's been working, working out quite, quite well. It's a great forum for people to get together. And if they just literally follow the drop land account on Twitch, follow the drop land page, you'll be able to literally watch the stream simul uh, like literally without any stopping or pausing it just flows completely through so it's something that will be a bit of a learning curve obviously for all of us because none of us have really done that before but um it'll definitely it'll it'll definitely be um something that i think people can really get into and the cool thing about this is that we know these artists we know that they have what it takes we know they've got awesome selection of music we know the producers that are going to be involved are quality producers that maybe people might not even realize that they know so yeah i'm definitely i'm definitely eager for it i, I need to make a plan myself to get in front of some cdjs because i know a lot of people have been asking me to play a set and me being me being a little bit elitist i'm like no no i won't do that yet here i am talking to you on a live stream so <laughs> i really need to pull my my head out my ass and get get to a mate and organize this so we'll see how it goes but i'm excited i'm excited as i'm excited for tonight's little chat that we have going we've got some killer guests in mind i don't think uh, a lot of people actually uh, would have realized how many people that we actually kind of had planned initially it was just going to be yourself me and two other guests but i pulled a little bit of a rabbit out the hat and we have somebody really special 
towards the end of the show. So yeah, definitely, yeah. if you have to go get a cup, a cup of coffee or some dinner now quickly, go get it done because you're going to want to be here in the next star uh, when we get this guy up. No pressure. Uh, actually, I just gave off the, the sex of the of the producer. I shouldn't have identified his, his gender. But anyway. <laughs> So uh, I'm, I'm, uh, we are thinking on making uh, the stream in two parts. We will warn you now yeah. because uh, we are not sure about uh, the connections we have to do right now. So um... we can keep this nice and nice and short, and we can make sure that all of us get back here by 9 p.m. when we'll have our first guest. If you guys uh, are interested, um, I definitely think it'll be something you guys are going to want to tune in for but yeah i mean besides uh, besides from that money everything's been pretty much getting semi back to normal in spain so it'll be interesting to hear what our guests have to say about the same issues in their parts of the country so man uh, uh, here is uh, it's so uh, they are like pushing a lot uh, to to open the airports in the next month. Like uh, in July, all airports should be open in Schengen area, which it means in all Europe. So let's see. But for now, in phase three, where I'm living, like on Monday, we go to phase three. They are they are accepting, uh, they are accepting uh, like uh, to open the clubs and the discos, but without people dancing. Which is fucking crazy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 like a, what? You know, it's like a, they want to open this course. Like, okay, they, they allow to open the discourse, but you just can't go there to sit and take drinks. You cannot go to dance. Okay, so it's a disco, but you cannot go to dance. <laughs> this is what they like yeah, accepting. I, I, Man, I, I hope they we come soon to this phase four. But even going to this phase four, uh I have to tell you that um we go to the phase four, and this is the new uh, normality, they said, which is uh, we have to wear masks everywhere till we get a vaccine, a vaccine, you know? Uh, so this can long for one year, two years, six months, I don't know. But till then, for flight, for go to public transportation, to stay on your job, to be with people, uh, to go to concerts, to go to every fucking place on Spain, you will have to use the mask if you cannot have the distance, the two meters distance with the people. So we are really fucked with that, you know? It's like, uh, what to say? So we will try to, we will try to do something, okay? We will try to make the connections now, and then we will see if the streams, the works and everything. And then after, we will, uh, if this cuts, we will make a second one, uh, longer one and a bit better, okay? So we will try just to 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 do it, and we will say hi to our first guest, and which is a really good friend of me. And let's see if he can come online. Okay, so just give us a minute. No, so he cannot come Six. online. He cannot come online. He's not here yet. Wait. Okay, so I think uh, I think let's say uh, let's take a, a four minute break. For anybody that's watching this live on Facebook, uh, check back in the next uh, in the next few minutes, and we will hopefully have our first first guest of the night with us. Yeah. So we are going out, and no, 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 he's coming online. Wait one second. Oh wow! Okay, well, guys, don't leave. Don't leave. Stay right here. Hey, what's up, Richard? Richard says hello to both of us. Stay yeah, tuned, sorry, Richard. sorry, uh, we didn't we didn't say that. I'm on uh, XGN uh, page, looking for your comments, and I have to say sorry to all our Mexican friends, which are writing there, and they are saying uh, why we are not uh, talking on Spanish and blah blah blah. Sorry, guys, but this show is uh, it's in English. Uh, I wanted to make a kind of a show with a friend from Mexico. But uh, we didn't make it. To, uh, we didn't make it. Welcome yet. to actually translate that in Spanish. To actually, 
maybe do, do do one better money while we're buying a little bit of time for our guest to join. Just just translate into Spanish as to why. Okay. So uh, hello. So we have our yes, first guest. Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, the wait, wait. It's connection the audio. So I will make project. sorry, I will make the presentation because it's my part. I have to make it sorry to say, but on this case I will Go make right the presentation, ahead. then you make the questions. Okay. So this is Herman Martinez, which is my friend, uh, my brother and my partner in 3D Vision, Dropland, XGen, and most of the projects of my professional life and musical life. And he's a quite amazing person and even more good musician. He's a teacher on a music school on, uh, on Barcelona, electronic music school. And he's so fucking talented. But most of, on the top of that, he's maybe my best friend or my, I don't know how to say it. So it's kind of my brother. So I only have good words for him. So I will not make any questions and I will not say so much on this uh, small conversation you will have, guys. Okay? So, hello, Herman. Hello, I'm on here. Ready? Uh, it's good to finally see you face to face, Herman. Obviously, big fan, you know. Uh, Thank you. Also, also a very big fan of the ARM project um, that you had going. That was always a little bit of a, a different spin on what you guys created with Xchin. Um, have you always had an interest in the daytime? Uh, like the more morning style uh, full on on a personal level compared to Xgen, which is obviously more high tech night orientated. Yeah, well, uh, the own project, uh, well, this project that I started a long time ago. So this was my first uh, side trans project that I, I had. And so it's been a long time since uh, see, I started my first track. And, and well, actually, um, uh, well, we were, we were making, uh, well, uh, we joined, uh, well, I joined with Manu, with XGen. I, I, I left a little bit my, this project aside. So I was making like not too much, many, not too many tracks uh, uh, per year. But uh, nowadays I'm, I'm starting, new projects uh, with own projects so because uh, there was a time that i don't really like um, you know the the full-on style that i was uh not that i was making i i, I like the music i make but but you know the this kind of uh the the way uh, the way where the full-on is going the way we're going uh, uh i really uh, i was not really you know like um uh, I, I didn't feel like doing this this uh, this music. But it happens. No, uh, it happens. Yeah. I, I think it kind of works like this when, like, when you have a long career, and it's kind of a, a tricky thing that I always have to try to tell the new up and comers. Like, like I mean, it's hard to kind of think back to when we were twenty one years old, and you know, yeah. first being influenced by this. It's a long time ago, so I think it's it gets harder to motivate yourself as the years go yeah, on, you know, it's like, to keep the motivation and, and, and now I feel more motivated to, to make, um, this, uh, well, this, not the new side trans, because I, I, I don't think that this new, this new side trans or the, what is they call psychedelic is new. This, this was there, all these sounds were from the, from, from the beginning of the side trans, you know, but, but, but it sounds a little bit fresh right now, you know. But it's I not agree. like uh, like I'm not surprised as uh, the, the things I I can I I hear from you know from other artists. All all of them they do uh, uh, you know a uh, very very good job. All the production and stuff is very good. But it's like okay, uh, yeah, this is a trans, but I'm not impressed like uh, what I was yeah. uh, what I listened, you know. But but now I, I think that, yeah, I find that a, a kind of way where I, I like to, you know, I feel more motivated. So, the, so I, I made this year, uh, uh, I made like two, two three tracks. Uh, one of them is going to be releasing our new compilation in Dropland, uh, Drop Your Hello. Fears. Uh, Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, uh, 
uh, track I think it's uh, for me I, I, I like the track I, I made uh, with this uh, I made a new track with uh, with a very uh, very good friend uh, Dario uh, track creative uh, and I'm planning to do more more stuff with him so uh, it's gonna be more realistically uh, I don't uh, this year or, or for the next year or Project. I guess this kind of brings me to the next question. Um, obviously, you're on the other side. I believe you're on the other side of Spain. You're in Barcelona uh, or around that area um, compared to Manu, who's more countryside. How's, how's this lockdown been treating you? Um, I mean, uh, uh, for, for many people that don't know, uh, Herman's actually a teacher and yeah. <laughs> as well as being a musical genius, he's actually is accredited as an actual teacher. So that's kind of the whole thing. But how has this lockdown been treating you in Barcelona? Because you were one of the hotspots when this first kind of hit, you yeah. know? Yeah, but right now uh, everything's going uh, better here. So it's still, um, still it's difficult to, to meet with Manu because um, uh, I'm not, so I, I'm not sure if I can just go to to another province that is not uh, not in, in mm. I can move inside Barcelona, but I think right now it's everything is going lighter, you know, like easier. It's going easy, uh, uh, but but yeah, well, the things that uh, where I'm where I'm working at uh, right now is is in Barcelona, so I'm here and and where. The lockdown here, uh, here for me was uh, was I think the, the best option, you know. Also, and and it, it's like uh, well for me it was uh, in the beginning it uh, was a little bit hard I, I think for us for more or most of the people. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a new situation that you cannot go outside when when you want. Uh, you cannot uh, do. Uh, exactly, exactly what you want. You, I, I, I could not go uh, to my studio in, uh, you know, in, in there in uh, in the basement. In yeah, studio. the, the basement. <laughs> yeah, with Manu. So it's like uh, maybe three months that I can't. Uh, I, I don't. You know, I, I didn't put a step in, in the studio. Uh, I hope that computers is still working there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm using the old one, you know, or my room for make my yeah. crazy music. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like I'm going too much to the down studio when he's not around, you know. I'm too lazy, so I'm going to the room to make my shit. <laughs> so, um, it's, uh, luckily, I I had to, well, I I had to to make like kind of portable studio, small studio. Here, where, where with uh, you know, with the laptop, uh, I I bought some uh, speakers and new sound card, uh, but you know. So now uh, I'm liking. I feel like uh, like uh, if I was uh, in my you know in my uh, my beginning when I started to make music, I, I was in my bedroom, you know, with, like everybody start start to. But I feel comfortable like this, you know, like because you don't need too much to make music. You just need uh, 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 you no. Know, although right now here in in 2020, it's very easy uh, for everyone to make music. Um, and now I only, uh, as I don't have a very good uh, acoustic and whatever on all this, I'm more mm -hmm. focused on on the music, you know, like which yeah. is okay. Yeah, okay, which is okay, yeah. melodies and. Melody is an important thing, you know. Notations and let's let's take you know let's take some yeah. advantage of the teacher we have here. I know a lot of people is listening that it's uh, yeah. on production too and is working and um, trying to make music or they are already artists. They want to check what we are talking about or what else. So why you don't give them uh, some plugging recommendations and shit like that, Herman? It can be cool that people know which are your favorite yeah, yeah. plugins last ones yeah. and let's get a bit more technical just for two minutes yeah then we come back to the yeah. to the chat chat <laughs> yeah they, like yeah. people don't like enjoy the moment <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I think actually uh, there are a lot of killer clients where you can do whatever. Well, uh, talking about uh, what you can use for for Cytrus, I think there is no secret. Every everybody knows what is the good stuff, like the uh, the, the serum. Uh, you have the Spire. You have the the Silent One, uh, which is a classical since uh, more or less everybody has. But it, there is a lot, another kind of like. Actually, I bought some a lot of plugins from Yuhi because uh, there was a very good offer, and I bought the Diva. I bought the the uh, what is the one well most mostly all of them of the, a lot of them yeah um, and sometimes i'm very bad with the names you know <laughs> so, <laughs> so i don't remember all the stuff i i i get no so so it's good so i think um yeah the you know the the thing is the um the tools are not really what matters in this it's just the knowledge yeah, this is the good thing and, and yeah. how to know the things. This is the good. Yeah, of course, maybe there are, there, there will be some plugins that maybe uh, you, you cannot make the, the sound you want or the specific kind of synthesis you are looking for to make this kind of lift, uh, this kind of beat or whatever. But nowadays, I think that uh, you, for instance, we work in Logic uh, when we make a gen. Uh, Manu is more using Ableton. Um, I tell you, lazy guy. For me, I tell you, lazy guy. <laughs> I built is a very, very key program also. But what in logic, I found, I found that, I, uh, I found that uh, for me, it has very good tools. You know, like the the stock, the stock plugins from from logic that are killer. Uh, you have everything. Mm, really good scenes, uh, analog uh, for FM synthesis, uh, all kind of. Uh, a compressor CQ, uh, killer effects, crazy effects to make whatever. So, uh, you know, in the in the in the beginning, in the in the uh, in the nineties, uh, I think the producers they have less tools than, than nowadays. You you had uh, you had like four or five scenes that they, they were very expensive, very very expensive. Uh, you yeah. cannot edit audio as you do in, in, in you know, in, uh, in the 21st century. So nowadays we have all the tools, you know. Uh, I think what you just, you, you, you all, the only thing you have to do is just create. Create. You know, it's like a yeah. um, lot of people as, uh, is very worried about it. Wow. My tracks need to sound like this, or no? Uh, your song, your track needs to sound like you, and it needs to sound you know, good. Uh, that's it. It needs to yeah, sound good. Sound that's, good it. that's it. And uh, <laughs> a very good, uh, uh, yeah, a good story. And you know, I think uh, one of my uh, my mistakes in the beginning, like I think more the, or more most of the people that is starting producing music make, is just. They try to sound like this or that. Man, XGN never tried to sound like this or that. And, and you can feel this in XGN. Uh, you can like it or not. But uh, when you listen to one it's of original. our tracks, you see, you, you know it's XGN. Yes. You know? yeah, I, I was telling money in this. We, I was we actually telling money in this. Yeah, you guys, uh, uh, the set, the set that he ended up playing, um, you could notice immediately on how tight the production was on extra tracks from a whole night's worth of quality yeah. music, and yet you could still hold your own musically. And I think that's one thing you guys have always had a great knowledge of is final production, and that probably might be more towards your side. But I mean final mix down how long what, uh, this is an interesting question always been curious what, how long don't has ask, it taken ask, to ask, finish ask, what's the longest ask. time it's taken to finish a track don't that ask. you thought was don't ask, done don't ask. on our case on our case you cannot ask okay you cannot ask because we have tracks we are releasing now they have six yeah. years 
six fucking years. Okay? okay? There is even a video clip. There is even a video clip on okay, YouTube saying fine. coming soon. And coming soon, it's six years. So I, we cannot say nothing. <laughs> Next question, please. Yeah, but it's, okay. Uh, this, this Next happened, question. Uh, uh, <laughs> an explanation, no? It's nice. It's like, well, some of them are collaborations, and, and uh, sometimes uh, the collaborations uh, uh, can get difficult, no? For different circumstances in life. Uh, but yeah, well, we can just uh, we can finish a track in maybe one week if you want. We already did this. Yeah, but we don't want. Yeah. What? <laughs> we don't want. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. We don't want. There is no more explanations. Next yeah. question, please. No, because uh, the, after this, you, you try the tracks, you play it, and then you, you think, uh, okay, this, this part needs to get better. Uh, you know, the, the mix is still not working good, uh, too much bass or whatever, then you fix things you fix and also right now we are not working uh, all uh, uh, full time in music yes yeah, we did before as we did before yeah, we, we can't uh, my, we can't as we did before we can't different so i have less time to make music but when i make music i take i uh, uh, I make it, I, I, I make the tiger. It. Yeah, yeah I, I think I, I think I, I think people better. people will be surprised about what we what we have on this album we are going to release uh, after summer, okay? Uh, because um, it's exgen, full exgen, it's full of collaborations with most of the good names on 3D Vision and blah blah blah. But at the same time, we did some stuff is a bit uh, well, it's quite tight and quite nice. I, I think people will like it. I hope people will like it and is a yeah. It, it becomes a good release because it takes a lot of time to us to make it come and everything. So, amigos, uh, I wanted to ask you, let's go, let's join someone to the conversation, okay? Uh, let's go. He's next to, he's next to join. Let's go. Money. Let's make a conversation is, uh, to, let's make a, let's make a connection one. to Brazil, okay? So, we go. Second. He's coming. So uh, let's see if he comes online. Let's see. Yeah. This is the infamous Marcelo of Killer Buds and Lock Locker Bay. This is going to be fantastic. Yeah, I hope the connection works because we didn't try it as we tried it with Herman before. Uh, so I hope a camera and everything it works. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Chan -chan. Okay. Let's see. Hola. Can you hear us? Hi. Hey. What's up, Marcelo? Greetings. <laughs> I, be, uh, I don't know if he's listening to us. Yeah, could you hear us? Okay. One blink is yes, two blinks is no. I can hear you. Perfect. Wow. Cool. There's some sound there. Some sounds better than no sound. So how is it going? How's everything on Brazil? Yeah, man. So far everything's a little bit chaotic due to the government and all those stuff. But a part of that, everything's okay. Man. Oh man, nice. shit. Nice. We are... where, where in Brazil do you stay, Marcelo? Where, uh, uh, where the... I currently live in Sao Paulo. Oh, well, for the past few months, I was at the beach because I will, I will like me and my wife could decide to, to go away from all this craziness. Mm. Stay in the beach for three months, lockdown, so no contact with nobody, just order oh, stuff, wow. the market, and that's it. Man, crazy! And how uh, how things been in Brazil? I know I know things have kind of it's hitting its peak at the moment with in terms of the whole coronavirus but how yeah. things ha uh, handling in Sao Paulo uh, it's a little bit weird because we had the advantage of like knowing before everybody else that this is gonna hit Sao Paulo eventually in Brazil but mm -hmm. the government like they took some city measures I, I don't know I don't get it actually and some of them they were like okay now it's time to make polit uh, political moves and do this and do that and 
they didn't mm-hmm. give crap about the people and they say okay stay home but if you did it like if they order to to lock down for the first month things will be much better but they just apply like okay quarantine stay home just go out to buy stuff and then, but people don't respect that you know especially the young ones they say oh it's not gonna hit me it's okay if i got if i got coronavirus uh, like my chances of being okay is super high so it, it's weird man not everybody takes this very seriously no, no i mean i i have family members that have um like uh, uh like respiratory issues and heart issues and i mean it's it's something that you can't take lightly I mean, you have to you have to play on the side of caution. I mean, I think that you obviously you have to eventually get over the fear and get back to real life. But maybe now exactly. is not that time. Yeah, because actually, we're, we're not just protecting ourselves. You know, we're protecting the ones around us. That's quite yes. important as well. You know, my folks are old, so I I don't want to harm them. I don't want to harm yeah. anybody that might be inside the the, the, the risk group. You know, so. Yeah, it's quite it's quite difficult. We 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 come to a situation here in Spain that there is a point that you should decide decide between continue with your life or take a lot of care just to the people around you know. And we are in a good yeah. situation right now. But uh, what we are seeing about Brazil or USA on the TV every day is fucking scary. I have to say it. You know, it's like a uh, whoa. Like, and here it, it gets really bad. I have to tell you that uh, in Spain, there was a time it was so scary to watch the news on the midday or something. It was like, wow. And now it's getting more positive. Politics are fighting again about bullshit and stupid things. And on the news, they are talking about uh, what else. But some days ago, at the beginning, they was talking about serious shit from the beginning till the end. And now... The most serious shit we see is USA and Brazil all the time, you know? Yeah. It's the next big thing. I mean, South Africa had our moment in the limelight when pretty much South Africa almost became like it went back to prohibition days because they banned alcohol for almost a month, cigarettes for almost a month, and people stopped. We, we ran our pineapples in South Africa because of everybody starting to brew their own homemade pineapple beer. And yeah, it's, 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 it's been a mess. I, I was telling Manu that we only recently hit stage three and they're still not selling cigarettes to the public. It's, it's more like, it's like now, if you go out on the street and they pull you over, if they pull you over, like the, the cops pull you over and you have a box of cigarettes, you actually have to have a receipt of where you got that, that box of cigarettes. Yeah, it is now, yeah, it's gotten ridiculous. So, yeah, I mean, I guess Brazil is, for, for you, Marcelo, this is kind of the crunch time. The next month and a half to two months will pretty much, you guys are going to be a similar thing like America. You probably will be one of the first countries that, will open your borders as far as like the americas go so it'll be it's gonna be interesting but again as long as you keep it safe and keeping you know your family keeping safe i think that's the case with all of you guys you know that's why we made this decision to be away from our loved ones i mean that's why that's why like herman's in barcelona and Manu's on the other ass end of Spain, so yeah, yeah. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Man, we are the shit is yeah. we, are yeah, far, so, eh? well, we are not that far. Yeah, we are not that far. It's one hour right, by right, car, right. so we are really close. But uh, um, our home is on the border of the next uh, part of the Catalonia. You know, Catalonia is uh, on four divisions. It's like Barcelona, Tarragona, Girona, and Lleida. And our village, the village we are where we have uh, the studio. Is like the first village after the border, so here is super safe. Like uh, we have the the lowest rate of contagion in all Catalonia, and then Herman is on the highest point of Catalonia right now. Yeah. So it is not even safe to me that he comes to see me. Yeah, well, Barcelona actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
here, here in, in Barcelona, uh, there was a time that was very, very, very hard. And they didn't allow us to move from Barcelona. So, but I think uh, I can, I will be able to, to go there. Maybe, in three weeks. Uh, Three weeks, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah two, that's what weeks. I'm thinking. I'm thinking three yeah. weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. So I think that's like yeah. I'm thinking yeah. a lot of this stuff is probably going to change come yeah. come July, August. I mean, we're either going to have like an alien invasion, or somebody's going to try it, like you know, or the or, or they're going to be like there'll be a vaccine that will come in with a microchip to bring in that next wave. I mean, I've heard like a hundred yeah. different conspiracy theories around this whole COVID case, you know, but honestly, I mean, I'm, I see places in the world are, are starting to do events. Um, I see there's a party coming up in, in America. I think it's only 300 people. Uh, there's a party in Japan that's hope uh, that's happening in the next two weeks. It's also has a 300 person limit. So events are slowly starting to happen, but Marcelo, I mean, obviously you come from Brazil, which is like, man, every week it's 15,000 people at the average party. So how long do you think it'll take before things get back to normal your side? We don't hear you. We didn't hear you. I don't know why, but we didn't hear you. We can't, we can't hear you. Let's see. What about now? Now, now, yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, okay. Fucking technology. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're not allowed to meet parties because you need to have a permit to do that. And the government is not like issuing anymore. So if you want to do a party, it would be like hidden one or illegal or some, some stuff like that. Mm -hmm. but the big parties, they are all shut down. I probably until... October, November. Some people are even talking about canceling the carnival next year, so I'm not sure yet. What? Really? Yeah, that really would be huge. Smart. I mean, I mean, they did postpone the Olympic Games in Japan. I mean, that's been moved up to one year and one month uh, uh, to to the day from the cancellation. So for them to stop something like that or like Mardi Gras in in the U.S. I guess it's to be expected. I mean, the biggest festivals on the planet have all been cancelled or postponed. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, it again, like, I get concerned that people uh, that people aren't taking it seriously because a lot of countries are kind of just jumping the gun and opening up up their borders. I did hear that South Africa might not open up our borders to international guests until. I think February of 2021, which is, that's ridiculous. I, I wow. mean, like similar to like Sao Paulo or Barcelona, it's like majority of the money comes from tourism and Cape Town needs tourists. If I mean, most of our businesses are, are run on the tourist industry. I can't imagine the guys uh, who are involved in the, uh, the winelands, like all the vineyards, for the wine and the Chardonnays and all the champagne that comes from South Africa that can't be sold because, you know, alcohol only literally became available a week ago. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm concerned. I mean, your guys feel up in Europe. Um, how long do you think it's going to take before we start to see some, you, you, you want, the you want me to explain you something? A small club? Man, I want to make uh, a party next month. A small one. <laughs> okay? That's enough? Oh, jeez, buddy. Oh, no, man, sounds good. Sounds great. Yeah, a small one, like 100, 150 person, something like that, kind of prepaid. I will have to give them a mask on the entry or something like that. But my plan is to try to make a party as soon as possible because we already had that party we have to make before this quarantine begins. So to be able to make that one, I need to make something smaller before to test that it can be good and safe for everyone and it's safe even from, for me uh, to see with the police and with everything. But my plan is as soon as I'm able and I see safe, like 
as soon the first uh, disco club or something like that a small ones from around is making something next week i will do something you know it's like i don't want to be the first one but maybe the second one or something like that so i'm on that yeah. mood okay guys so uh what do you think if you uh we join uh someone more to the conversation we have a special guest that it was a kind of surprise guest no one expected that uh but um we can join him uh people uh well People will know him because um, he was really, really active some years ago and he helped us a lot uh, on the on the way to define this new song we we, we want to put on 3D Vision and on, on Dropland also. Uh, he was helping us and he's a, he was a really active part of Dropland. Now he's a bit less active, I have to say, but... Uh, He's an amazing musician. He helped us a lot. We have a lot of collaborations with him. And um, a lot of people know him, especially uh, in South Africa. A lot of people will be happy to see his face again because he yeah, was man, playing I mean, there uh, a couple uh, of uh, times. He, and... came, he came here for a year. He, I think there was a period. He was almost here for like half a year or something at, a, at one point. But yeah, I mean, he actually performed at our last outdoor festival that we actually uh, I think it was our fifth remanufacture festival in I think 2011 or 2012 so yeah I haven't spoken to to the guy in a very very long time but the Cape Tonians and the guys up in jo uh, Johannesburg will definitely recognize it so, so here we are yeah Manny yeah keep building the suspense Yay. Hello, Roman. Mm. That's it. Yeah, that's a real. Yeah. Man. Hey, Hello. what's up? What's up, man? No, guys. Sorry. Mr. Smashed. Mr. <laughs> Smashed. It has been years. <laughs> how are you guys? Yeah, all good. good. All good. Yeah, yeah. How uh, things have been a little bit crazy in our parts of the world. You are on another. Uh, you're on the other side of Spain, if I if if I recall. Well, I, I'm I, I'm actually not that far from Manu and Herman from both. But the thing is, I'm on a small island, so it's not that far. But I'm kind of more on the right side. Let's say it's fucking on Ibiza. Come on, he has beaches and, uh, and super nice place <laughs> and blah blah blah. But he's talking like oh oh oh. I'm gonna smile like that. Come on, he's on fucking Ibiza. So how things been? How how have things been your side, Romain? How how's this lockdown been treating your your beautiful island? <laughs> well, to say the least, it's been devastating for everyone. Uh, although mm -hmm. I have to say that I'm lucky enough to be on an island where maybe we're, we were not so affected like the majority of Spain still was bad and quarantine was exactly the same as everyone but maybe the rate of like people affected and all that was a bit more chilled but yeah just uh, as bad as, as all Spain I have to say yeah so uh and you feel like things are slowly getting back to normal your side yeah we're, we're, where i'm living now like people can go around um i think some kind of shops open again people can actually go to the beach but it's being controlled by police and well you have to have like uh, this like people they can go to the beach but they can't go in the water they can't be near each other and same as i saw manu saying like here most of the island work on clubs and stuff like that and everyone just wants to open but uh you cannot I think dance. it's more gonna you be like something dance. like bars <laughs> did you hear that that they can open but you cannot dance on the discos they say yeah, it on the exactly that's what i was gonna say that, that but... everyone wants to open but you can only go and have a drink or you can't, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I, to well, be honest, I don't think it's the best idea, but <laughs> time to be alive. Oh, jeez, yeah. man. 
So as far gonna, as uh, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, besides from from the from all of this, I mean, have, uh, have you been keeping yourself active? Like, have you been doing the whole jogging in the daytime and all of that, like everybody else? I mean, because it's been how long have you guys been in lockdown for your side? Like, also almost seventy days or over seventy days. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I, I'm I'm lucky enough to live a bit on the outside so i don't really have to be in city or i could kind of go out with my dogs or family to go around the forest and not see people and so i was kind of lucky on that side i have to say yeah yeah i guess i I, I guess the main the main question why uh, why we all sneakily brought you on and the, the inboxes that i'm getting is when are we going to hear new smashed you knew it was coming uh, if so yeah i guess that, uh, I, yeah i guess. i knew it was coming <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need to oh, wait geez. a question from someone it's fucking lyle who's dropping the question <laughs> 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 come on don't be that hard with him <laughs> i've been kind of active yeah i mean music wise always very active but trance wise uh i think this year there's going to be a few tracks coming out with with the boys with manu and Herman. and yeah i've been doing some new stuff with a couple of artists that i hope that maybe it's going to come out this year hopefully, hopefully. It's, good to, it's good to hear that we got some new music coming again man he's, it, he's speaking to, to Herman earlier same thing it, it, it's like sometimes you need to take a little bit of a break for your own sanity because i think people forget on how many years you punched into this without really any any second thought you just went for it and you know it's it's sometimes it's good for the creative juices also you know so yeah. well that's really true i mean after 20 years of making music like times change and you change too so Sometimes you kind of lose the vibe and times change and you get back to the vibe and maybe you feel it's right that sometimes to come back to it, I think. He's being too so humble, point... you know, all the time he's being too humble. He's, uh, his name is going to be out this year on uh, the AMUJ uh, release because he have a track from us, uh, Invisible Invaders, which is a uh, versus from Smash and Exgen, which it was super good at the time on 3D Vision. So he's uh, doing a new remix, so his name is there. His name is also on a track, his name is Yeah, which is in our album. Then we have a kind of collaboration ending of a track we did with Dark Riders, which is his other project with uh, the amazing Basco Copat. And man, it's an amazing track. We are playing it for long and come on, it's a fucking amazing. Yeah, and then also he's good. making a, for sure. a collaboration with Brainwash. Which it will be amazing. Yeah, right? That's the, the, wow. the latest stuff, yeah. Yeah. So he's being humble <laughs> as always, you know. I, I need to know. It's, that. I mean, definitely, it's it's definitely an interesting one. A brain. I don't. I don't believe I've ever heard a collab between yourself and Brainwash. So it's it's funny because I know Marco for for quite some time, and when I used to go a lot to Portugal, I would always meet up with him and always good friends but i don't know just things didn't happen for no reason and yeah after some time well we just chatted a bit and we were like maybe it's time so yeah it, it was definitely time so it's pretty fun to to work with him now people will yeah, love it it's a new it's decade, a new it's a new decade. it's a, a, you know 2020 you know it's yeah, like yeah. time to shake it up for sure, for sure. <laughs> It's the Corona music. Yeah, the time is now, man. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Marcella, as far as uh, you go, you had a you had a double duty shift last uh, last weekend for the Killer Buds and Lock Locker sets as well. Killer sets, by the way, both of them. So much new music I haven't heard from both the projects. Um, you got any new releases that uh, that are coming out in the near future? I I'm I believe uh, I believe we might have something, or one of the MMD guys might have something from Killer Buds coming out soon. But yeah, is there 
any releases that, uh, that are coming out in the near future you want to tune about? Yeah, I've been working some tracks uh, from later November last year to now. So I have a couple of tracks from Killer Birds and Locked Locker. Uh, probably both of them will be released by the end of the year. Uh, some of uh, at Neuromind Records. I think I have one track with uh, with Manu. I'm not sure yet for Dropland. No, no, no. It's coming to Drogland and he's joining us and yeah. blah, blah, blah. Everything, <laughs> like, full pack. I, I didn't talk to he's, he's joining I, us full I, pack. Was, Sorry to say, this advice. is going on a stream, but Official. he's joining us full pack. Like, everything he has, he can join us. <laughs> he's one of us now. Um, yeah, but now that how, my daughter is a little bit older, I, I'm, I have more time to make more music. So I'm, I'm fully active now. I'm going to make tons of tracks and I'm, I'm super excited. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I mean, uh, how's this lockdown been in terms of making music with Jose and and your Killer Buds partner? I mean, how uh, has the process been to any different from than before? Uh, obviously, with them being in Mexico and you Actually, in Brazil. Well, when we first started uh, Lucky Locker, I was living in Hong Kong. So I worked the whole day, and when I got back home, my wife just sitting watching TV or doing some stuff, and I just, instead of doing, playing video games and stuff like that, just put my laptop on my lap and we start making music. So it was quite okay, because I work a bit, we, we use the same DAW, so I have no issues with that. And so far, it's okay, man. Also, Joss just have a, a, a baby girl. So probably for the for this, this first few months, he will not be able to to make music. I'm sure, I'm sure. Probably, probably <laughs> yeah, it used to happen. But it's okay. Oh, we, we get along pretty well. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Everything, so I like to work with him. Yeah. Well, again, like I said, I heard a lot of new tunes, a lot of unreleased bangers, like the that I haven't heard and I always kind of thought I had my finger on the pulse. So yeah, it was a question that had to be asked. Um, as far as, as far as, um, final production goes, um, I'm pretty sure all of you guys feel the same, the same, same way. Um, this new up and coming generation of Cytrods producers, they tend to work a lot of the templates that a lot of producers had created before, and it will always tend to have the shades of like a 3D vision, but kind of like a lower grade version of it. Um, you guys, when it comes to collabing, have all had very particular tastes in producers that you like to work with. Are there any producers that you guys haven't made tunes with that you would be interested in? Maybe start with you, Manu, we'll work our way. Ron, give a little bit of time for the guys to think about it. Okay, yes, so you on the spot. we we have to say <laughs> that uh, on on our case, there is few names we didn't work yet, but we have to work. But we were so lucky since the beginning because uh, we have the luck to work with uh, Absolum since the beginning. Then uh, Gerard last time found he was living here in our home, so we was working with him. People know we have a lot of collaborations. Then Roman comes to live here. So we was working for a long time with Roman. It was amazing too. And we got that new vibe and everything. And then we got a lot of collaboration, collaborations with uh, XI, with Brainwash, uh, uh, with Theorem. We work it a lot and it's super nice to work with him because he, he's, I don't know, he sent us like two or three tracks and then we finish it. Now people maybe doesn't know, but we are working on a collaboration with uh, Tamir Atomic Pulse. It's kind of, uh, well, people hear the track yet. It's uh, one of our, it's in our live act, but we are doing it with him. It's a bit more commercial. It have a voice and everything. But we are working now with Tamir, which is a lot of friends from us. And I think people will expect, I will not say the name we are going to work next, but we have kind of a surprise for upcoming months because we have a collaboration with a super nice name. It's coming on the future also. Have you guys, have you guys made a track with Lock Locker before? Or an ex gen versus lock locker. Not yet. Not yet. I think before. No, no, not yet. No, no not yet. So it's, it's ironic. Uh, yeah. It, well, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Plant the seed for the future. <laughs> uh, 
And I mean, yeah. and like, obviously, all of you, all of you guys have very different musical interests outside of side parts. I mean, we obviously are all we're all into the nighttime full on or you know twilight sound or whatever you want to call it. But what other music are you guys listening to? And maybe I'll ask Romain this because I mean. <laughs> I know you're involved in a lot of other different styles of music at the moment. Uh, what are you listening to nowadays besides from Psy? What's what's getting you going? Well, what I've always listened to since I'm like kid is mainly like rap music, <laughs> like a lot of. <laughs> Roman likes Britney Spears. Ah, it's a it's not a secret. No, no more. <laughs> No, but you he's know, a fucking fan seems, of it. He's a so fucking fan like of his music. That's a true. Joke. We're just showing our age here. I'm like, damn it, we're all so old. We're looking at Britney Spears and joking about it. You can't even tell a kid about Britney Spears now. They're like, who's that? That that 32 year old lady. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but funny enough, Herman is kind of right because uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I always enjoyed a lot of rap and maybe drum and bass and stuff, but. I'll, I'll be the kind of guy that one day I'll just drop some very commercial kind of pop music or I, I just like music. I, I mean, I appreciate well done music and I really like good production. So I'll maybe drop some Britney Spears or some anything, but it's mainly about the, the production I'm all about. I think that's one thing that all the guys that have like, that are in the stable of 3D Vision or Dropland. All of you guys are perfectionists when it comes to final production. It's like, that's why you don't have an onslaught of music coming out at any which time from you guys, because you take time in trying to finish the tune and make it as good as it can be. Well, like so, Manu yeah, said, I mean, like we're releasing some tracks that are now like five, six, or maybe seven years old. Yeah, it's they are. They like are more than tested. They are super they tested. Released, maybe they were already like five years. Yeah, they are super tested they, everywhere. They're, they're still you know? good. They're still good, man. I mean, if that's what I'm saying. I mean, and I've noticed it a lot in in DJ sets where I could play old material from all of you guys, all everybody in this conversation, and the production on a track that might have been made in 2012 slightly better now because of uh, like plugins and whatnot but generally every track that has ever really been released on the 3d vision stable or even dropland is as good as it could possibly be in in db in volume you know in the tone i mean again you could play an old you could play high in chicago now and it still rocks and it will still yeah be as banging as the most banging new X or lock, So you lock, want you want to know track, something so. amazing about that? Roman Smash is the only one that have a kind of remix of that track, which is my favorite track ever. This high in Chicago from X Gen and Roman, it have a kind of well, it's not finished yet, but it's fucking amazing. Yeah. yeah I, I, <laughs> I remember there was a period where almost every 3D Vision artist played um, played the the Absalom Hadra Kadabra remix because it was like the the track the unreleased blaster of so, of Crystal guys, that nobody could get except for you guys. One second. Now we are talking about uh, past releases and everything. Why we don't let join the last guest we have? He's repeating again because oh, he got the, a yes, lot of fun. Yes. So who is this? Who is the surprise guest now? Let's join <laughs> and let's say hi to Josh. Out of yes. signal. Josh. Boy, this really, Hola. This really Hello. is a this really is a 3D vision get together. Hello. Oh, what up, Josh? Jeez, look at this. Listen. Um, look my, my God. I've seen so many euros of sets. I've seen thousands of euros right now. This is this is mental. I'm like, my God, the amount of plane tickets right here. This... <laughs> Come on, we are just friends, you know, talking. Uh, Good to see you, Josh. Good to see you, man. How are you guys? All of you there. To the world. Como estas? <laughs> You speak, you speak 
Shosh, how are things in Israel? How, uh, how's, how's the update on lockdown your side now? A few weeks later since so we Things spoke. back to normal in now, a bit, more, more normal. Uh, system more or less uh, working, but I think it's growing again. Because every day uh, it's 50, something like Man, this. come on, I see parties on your country. I see uh, Tamir Atomic yeah. playing on a super nice party. You are nice right now. I fucking am by you. You know, it's like I want to be on Israel right now <laughs> on this fucking 100 persons party you have. Come on. I make a party yesterday for 10 persons on my home. Like I put all, all the furniture and all the thing on the studio at the back to make a small party. But come on, I'm fucking jealous. I'm seeing the videos of the people from Israel, my friends and everything. They are having parties right now and it's quite nice. On pools and everything and nice girls and come on. Damn it, man. <laughs> Making me all jealous here. I always feel like a freaking monk at the moment. I'm like cursed myself to celibacy the minute I came back from Japan. I had like the sweet life going and then I literally got put into this freaking castration type scenario of a lockdown here in South Africa. So yes, I want to get back to having parties also of 10 people, like any 10 people at the moment. I yeah. think this is the most people I've seen. Right yeah, yeah. parties of 10. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many people. <laughs> <laughs> anything at this moment man <laughs> uh so yeah josh congrats yeah. on a killer set again last weekend it was awesome awesome to hear also same thing a bunch of uh, a bunch of different tunes that we hadn't heard in previous live sets it's like yeah, you know, full of surprises at the moment i like to make change and uh, surprise i cannot play the same it's, uh, i always do something uh, different because I think all of you guys were like that. Sorry, I was gonna, I was gonna say, well, basically, all of you guys are like that. I, you all think along the lines of, I need to change the setup from the previous set if, if it's only like one or two little bits, but always like different. But this set was definitely had a little bit of a little bit of a charm, you know, going a little bit different, a little bit different this time round. Uh, all these goals, you know, so I think it's, uh, it's better to make the old always new, you know. Uh, old music that people like, you know, I want to keep playing, so I cannot play the same sound 10 years ago or 15 years ago, I don't know. So I must... Uh, must make it more uh, with the sound, more new sound, you know. Updated, mixing. updated. And yeah. also for the other uh, DJs that want to mix my music, so it would be more interesting. Actually, that's what we were talking about earlier, about how almost every person, every producer that is on 3D Vision or Dropland always has the highest level of production when it comes to their final tune. Let me ask you this question, Josh. What is the oldest tune in your live set? What is the uh, the oldest tune that you were, would drop from the Artist Signal catalog? That I play right now on uh, the streets. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Was the Mania music. But, That's still a classic. But, but uh, you know, I have much more from, from Yabai records and uh, I really want to play them sometimes, you know, because I think they are uh, still playable, you know, <laughs> for with the sound also. So it's definitely still relevant. I met a few with Digital Talk, you know, uh, from France, yeah. and he's always oh, yeah. uh, his sound always was uh, very fat and uh... Man, that French production yeah. on the basic kick. They uh, like themselves at Fat Maddox. I mean, they really were the pride and glory of France. I mean, that was uh, man, some of the best, uh, some of the best years in the in the genre. I mean, you can't argue with it. It was fun times, fun times. <laughs> yeah, it was golden time. 
yeah, with good compilations and everything. It was really nice on that time. And that guy, it was a legend on that time. I, it was uh, yesterday. I was playing all the tracks, all the tracks we are talking about. I was playing like four hours, and all the tunes I play them. You know, I was making a DJ set with my friends and all the old tunes I was playing all the time. So I'm thinking also on making a stream DJ set with all music, with all the tunes. Just doesn't want to play yet and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and will be the next uh, stream in party. <laughs> what, what, what? The next streaming party. Yeah, yeah, we can. I tell you, we are making one, Ning one, on Droplan. Droplan and friends, join us. People can hear you again. Yeah, you yeah, you can even very impressive. Uh, sorry, what? You could even uh, you could even treat us to a retro set if you want. You uh, can go full on to. Yeah, you uh, you can. It, I definitely think the one thing that I I saw from last weekend is that it really was like a party. People went from page to page after each stream was done. You would see the same people commenting on the next stream, and it went like that for twelve hours straight. It was it was so fun. It was like all of you guys were able to give. A little bit of your story but, but by being in the comfort of your own studio so i don't know it was really killer and i mean to have guys like sammy and chris join us for cpu and shift sets it just i don't know took me back it took me back to a simpler time <laughs> well everyone yeah. did everyone did this amazing job man i i wasn't expecting the the stream from cpu was that good you know i was expecting him to play but not with all the machines and everything. It was like, wow, he took it seriously. Like for real, you know, five, it's like five super in nice. In a gown. And then everyone, you know, like, this guy, the streaming of leagues, it was like super you. good also. I wasn't expecting these uh, screens and the logos and man, everyone do something kind of special. It was really nice. And even the people was feeling that uh, all the artists and everyone was involved was trying to do something a bit better or a bit more special. Man, even Marcelo's, uh, even Marcelo's set, where you, where, like, where he put the nifty little screen with the logo and the visualization to the spinning logo. I'm like, my God, am I watching a video game here? Like, with the best soundtrack in the world. It's like the same thing, but it's like all of the, all of you guys literally like busted out. And I think, uh, I think the listeners were treated to a really really quality like night of music and it doesn't happen very often in our styles that you get that it, like it might be one or two of you guys on a night but never like consistent and all you guys like delivered so let's hope, let's hope manu can actually pull this rabbit out the hat and we can get this awesome twitch stream going for for this because i think people will really enjoy it i think I think we, we gave people a little bit of a taste of, you know, the music that's coming from across the world. Cause it was like, you know, I think we've got four, five different nations here just in this chat. So well, is, is, is the good know. part of the situation we yeah, have, maybe it was the streaming carnaval. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's the good part of this situation we have now. I don't know. The world, it gets a bit more smaller because we cannot go out from home. So we are more connected. It's more easy. OK, I'm talking with Roman normally or with Herman. I see him every week or something like that when he's in normal life. But now we are not like that. But like we are now, we can get connected. So that was the reason. It, it will be so difficult to make that kind of party on a real world. First, because we have to be all together. And second, because even the public, where you will do it? You will do it in Brazil, you will do it in Mexico, you will do it in Portugal, you will do it in South Africa, where you will make that party. So it, it have kind of a, some sense because it was a global digital party. It means it was around the world and people from around the world that love the music, it gets connected to see that kind of music. So that's what, uh, that was the really motive of the party in the end. Like the artists join because they know they will be like that. There will be something global that they can represent in a way they're part of the world. And even the followers, you can see people was joining from different parts of the country. And then the people, it was the same because there's people, they will not meet never on a party because they are 
night full on lovers from Brazil and night full on lovers from Portugal or from Mexico, they will never talk or they will never meet on a party or they will be, I don't know, in a big, big festival, boom festival, Universo Paralelo, what else? Maybe some of them they can meet because there is another reason. But it's not normal that any guy is flying to another country just to see a night full on party with one or two artists. So they get connected. If only, if only. we'd all be a lot more comfortable and all in our own houses if, if that was the case there. We'd all be loving life. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely, I mean, the musical flow, even though they would literally, like you said, different countries, different time zones, the whole stream, everybody flowed so well. I mean, it literally was Josh into Sammy for CPU, into the double barrel killer buds lock locker into shift and it just flowed like butter into Roby after I mean it really you couldn't really fault the night and I think uh, I think a lot of people came out of that that night like feeling really good you know because you got you, it's not like anybody was getting paid all of you guys are I think a, a lot of people forget that you all of you guys are doing this out of the kindness of your heart you don't do, you don't like Marcelo doesn't have to be up at this time to have a conversation with us, but he is, you know, and, you know, we've tried, I think just good time management, like worked out so well for the stream. And I think just the flow of the party, I wish it was an outdoor party that we all could have been at because it would have been a killer outdoor. Yeah. Yeah. We need uh, to function one. The future. You pick the, pick the country money. Don't make me choose. Or, don't make me choose, or all of you will go to Mexico or something like that. Don't make me choose. Come down, oh, Brazil. Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, I mean, how much base? How, how much? We, <laughs> <laughs> how is the uh, how is the nightfall on scene in in Brazil? Because I mean, man, you must be like the black sheep out there compared to all the base house like and all of that type of stuff that's there i mean geez you're like the evil guy out there <laughs> it's funny because uh in the past we used to have like a night scene sheep came so many times fix all the time code guys uh it was not that bad you know absolutely I don't know what I've been a lot of times too but for example x gen i never heard i lost and found smash it Christoph, yes, because like he was the first ones to to get here, but the rest of the guys, I never, never yeah, yeah. listened to them. Like, well, Josh, Josh, about them. Josh is played a know. lot of times in Brazil, also, so he can explain yeah. a bit more. Also, and Josh has played everywhere. Yeah, like, come on, it's super Josh, <laughs> super Josh. <laughs> Imagine a party with all you guys down here. The thing is that the dance floor and the organizer, they have no idea that this music is still, still out there. It's still out there, you know, and, and it's still so good. Yeah. It's uh, not so better. I, I mean, it's, it's involved. It's out there. Just ask them to bring them. You have no idea how your public will react to them, you know. I'm pretty sure they will love it. Because if you talk about night music in Brazil, they are talking about Aja and those yep. moons. Yeah, I saw, guys, it. Those I saw guys, it. I saw it. I saw it. Yabba Dabba, Yabba Dabba, Trip Drop, and all yeah, the weird yeah, yeah. little cliche, catchy forest names. Yeah. Right. They even and, a of, and a lot of and a lot of prog. I mean, you guys have a hell of a lot of progressive in Brazil. I mean, it is a huge genre. I think half the half the guys that make progressive that aren't good enough to get onto a boom or an Azora lineup literally can just survive from Brazil bookings. Because again, man, oh, wow. Sure, they got really well paid. That's for sure. Yeah, uh, again, man. But yeah, just keep sticking at what you're doing, man. It's like don't don't feel uh, the need to conform. Yeah. I want to hear like no kick on said, bass. Like what man said, I've been doing this for twenty years, so there's no excuse or no nothing that will make me change. You know. Man, sorry to yeah, say, that's but... That's the one thing I can yeah. say about everybody in this conversation. Yeah, we are there too old. I was thinking the fucking same. Yeah, I was thinking the fucking <laughs> same. We are too old. All of the guys of this conversation we are talking about. Yeah, words. 10 years ago. Yeah, 20 years ago. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Come on. <laughs> Come on, guys. 
Be younger. Yeah, well, <laughs> because uh, all of us, we have a background, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but... I think this is good motivation for the new generation that they... they uh, I hope that a lot of guys that want to make music, uh, they, they, they feel like they want to do this music, you know? Yeah, of course. It, this would be nice. The only reason I set up Nevermind Records down here is to, like, try to give a little bit, bit of an incentive to, to, to the youth, you know, to the new producers. Yeah. If they are too tight into, oh, I need to release in the big label, I need to do, make music. Who yeah. mm-hmm. are out there for everybody to listen. Then let them decide if it's good, if it's not, if they like. Yeah. Because Don't no get the help, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, normally what happened in, in Paris that uh, when you play with other other projects more, you know, with more uh, we we say standard side trends music. Uh, when we start playing, maybe in the ten first or fifteen first minutes, the people is like, oh, oh uh, what is this? You know, so powerful. But you know, then after this, it's like everybody's like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you know, it's like wah, I like this, and so. A lot of people doesn't know that they like this music, like because the music, music needs to be shown. Made for, they know, but they don't want to recognize for, till they wait ten minutes. It's not for listening to it in home, you know. No, definitely. So this is where you can see if you like this music or not, because we we do music for dance floor. You know, you know? sometimes I, I I say this to people. Okay, our music is not to for for listening in your home. Whatever, it's just uh, go to a, uh, a party, just drink a beer, uh, do some uh, whatever you want to, <laughs> to take and, 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 and enjoy it. You know, it's like, that's it. You know, it's, uh, it is dance for music. That, that, guy, is yeah. that, guy, that guy down there is a label manager for 3D Vision and Droplan, and he's saying that our music is only for DJs. Normal people cannot buy it because Why? it's only for parties. No, no. It's I know. I'm fucking I, joking. I, Come on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, in Roblox, we are not really worried about sales. You know. It's like, no. Come on. We don't. We, we don't never was. Label for for get it for get beat and whatever is never. This was our, uh, you know, our goal. Our goal. It's, it's not this. We want just to release the music we want and. People, yeah. people, I think can't imagine how we take it. Uh, I remember uh, Roman and me, for example, we were sitting at the mornings here smoking and choosing people to ask to join on the compilations. And then we were asking favors to that guy and talking to that guy and blah, blah, blah. At the beginning of the label and Herman and me, every time we meet, we having like a kind of two hours or three hours conversation like, hey, I want to do that. And I'm thinking on that. And you talk with that guy and blah, blah, blah. People. Can't imagine. It's not about name or money or things like that. It's about uh, it's our uh, I don't know. It's our baby, you know, and we take care of it and we do a okay. lot of stuff in a personal way. People maybe don't understand that. They they think like they have a label and they think like they are uh, label managers and blah blah blah. No, we are normal people that we love so much that idea we have or that uh, way we we have of understand the music and then we are ready to uh, take our time, our energy, our money to talk with that guy or do that or go to that way or blah, 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 just to make our label or our environment is a bit better for the people, you know? So, yeah, that's it. Um, well, the, the, the proof is that in Dropland we are releasing like every genre. I, from you know, from chill out to to night and even dark, uh, or, or high tech or whatever, and we just only look for we are looking for good tracks. That's it, you know. That's it. If somebody have a good uh, good track, we don't have any uh, any problem to release it. It's, you know, uh, other labels doesn't do that. He says they can tell you like, okay, uh, your track is very good, but you are nobody, or you don't have, you you are not making this or this, because they are looking for this, you know, for sales, and uh, that's it. So, um, so uh, well, maybe we are not like the typical side trans 
lover, you know, we don't have like, you know, Rasta and all this. But yep. There are no I dreadlocks know. in this conversation. <laughs> No dreadlocks yeah. in this conversation at all. I don't, I don't have any, any problem with dreadlocks and stuff, you know. No, uh, of course not, of course not. No, yeah, they're great. It's not about this. <laughs> it's because really, uh, uh, I think that uh, we only live, uh, we only uh, love Cytrans. We love Cytrans Paris. We love Cytrans music. And this is what we are looking for our label, just to contribute in some way to, the, to Cytrans culture. Yeah, for sure. That's, we we have to say it. also that when, when when Joplin started, it was kind of the beginning of like the digital era. And so cool. uh, at that moment, I feel like releasing music wasn't an easy thing. Like you would really have to sign to someone and like, yeah. and we were trying to like make something hard, more accessible for may, maybe everyone or ourselves too. So I think that was the idea behind everything. Yeah, I mean, like, what is your guys' opinion on releasing albums uh, in this day and age where it's so progressive and moving so fast? Uh, what's your guys' opinion? Because obviously Manu's and uh, Herman have the X Gen album coming out and it's a long wait. There were essentially yeah. four or five EPs yeah. within this one album. Um, what's your guys' opinion on releasing full albums as opposed well, to think, a single well, or an EP? Well, for me, releasing an album is a very, very serious, uh, um, a very serious thing. You know, for uh, as an artist side, an album is something that you have to take it, uh, take it seriously. Like uh, for us, it's really important because uh, it will be our first nine tracks album. You know, long time we we made like kind of album like in speaking three parts. You know, so the extreme in genetics. The three parts you have like an album of uh, from action. But now, uh, so we are we are not in a rush to release it. But of course, um, I, uh, this lockdown is not really good for. For our album, uh, for our album, because some of the tracks are in our studio and I cannot go. Some tracks I uh, we are working on it, on it because um, you know uh, I can work in some projects. Then uh, I can send it to Manu. Uh, whatever we can work on this, uh, but some other tracks uh, we cannot uh, work together on these tracks. Uh, but uh, in the moment that we can join. You know, most or less all, the, all of the tracks of the album are like kind of finished. Yeah, the, to so, tell you the truth, <laughs> the, the main reason that like, we do we do that album as an album is because uh, we were sure first that it will be one of the last time all that good names are together on a compilation or album or something like that, like together, because Copat is not active anymore. Smash tracks are like gold. You have to search it and go dig it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you out, you know, like... Then there is some other interesting collaborations. Then we have a remix from uh, Theorems and Absolum uh, Mythic uh, Weglimansium track. And the main reason we wanted to do that is because we were sure, even being an album, which is uh, nine tracks together, all the tracks was fucking different on the sound. Even being 3D busy on sound straight and tight, all them they are different bass and different sound and different collaboration and different kind of music. This yeah. is what it, uh, it, it 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 I feel like is more shit about. Uh, there was a time, all the albums was like nine tracks, same tracks. Before it was not like that. At the beginning, you buy an album, and all the tracks was a kind of history. Most of them, they begin a bit mm -hmm. slower, then they go up, and then in the end, they put a bonus track, which it was a strange, quiet, drop, I don't know, break, what else track, okay. or a chill out track, which yeah. no one was playing. But it was there because yeah. there was an history. Then it becomes like, okay, I'm releasing albums every year, and all the albums was like yeah. nine tracks, ten tracks, all was the fucking same. You got a good idea, and yeah. then it was four or five tracks with that idea. Uh, so we want to release it that instead of a EP on an album format because we were sure that all the tracks was different. So we want to give that experience to the people. 
we want to, yeah. to the people give uh, take that uh, nine tracks that sounds really similar we wanted to explain a yeah. kind of history maybe it's a too mixed history because there is a lot of artists and this is a different moments of our career so some of the tracks it sounds more new and some of the tracks even being updated they are all and they have that old vibe so people will feel it but still they are super good and most of the tracks people already hear it on the on our live acts and everything so yeah that's the main reason but i'm fucking a lover of aps and i believe that is the smart way to release nowadays because uh, you work a lot and put one two maybe two three tracks that they have top top quality and then you have some time to take care about them give them love promote it good and people can love it if i get a lot of good tracks on between other tracks people maybe will lose them and they will not get the respect and the love they deserve for us it's so important that every track is so important by himself only by a track we don't care about even releasing singles or make a special promotion for a track or what else because we think every track is a special on a way is our baby it's not about our release yeah, it's about well, a track yeah when we start uh, every time we start a track we start from from scratch with no template roman knows this also of every track <laughs> of course so it's like uh, uh, it's gonna try something we are gonna try with this uh, kick uh, and this bass. we try this so we start from scratch and this is the reason why sometimes it takes long to to finish the track because uh, we don't work as others and you can feel it like uh, it's, it's like the same team plate uh, they just uh, change some leads and stuff and i respect this completely you know i respect this completely um but our way of working is this. No, we right? like the challenge too, Fernando. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> Come on, you can't imagine. <laughs> we know each other. You can't like imagine. You can't imagine yeah, how are that like two guys on the studio. You can't imagine. I'm on the middle of them, yeah. and wow, you can't so, imagine <laughs> how they are. No, leave my kick. No, no, mine is sounding better. Blah blah blah, man. Yeah. You oh, can't imagine. No. I, uh, yeah, but sometimes it's a way to, to <laughs> learn and, and be better, no? So uh, every time. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but for us, this was the, the way of working of three division. You know, it's like this. Uh, we learn also this from Absolute. Uh, this is the way, uh, like, uh, he, he also was working. Like, um, start a scratch from the beginning, uh, make new sounds, whatever. I, I, I never like it to repeat a, a lead that I that we use in, a, in another old track. <laughs> like, we don't want to repeat this sound. Then to, you try to make new one and stuff and work in hours to do this to that. Uh, sometimes this was also very uh, frustrating, you know, like uh, a lot of time uh, um, I I went to bed like thinking, wow, man, I, can't, I, I you know, I, I can't afford it, you know. I, I, <laughs> For it, I, I got it. I got enough, you know. But the the next day you still con um, still uh, continue try and and finally uh, you find something, you know. And and, and this it's very frustrating. I know. Uh, maybe it's uh, very very hard, but uh, well, it's. I think this is why we sound like this. You no, know? I don't know. It's, it's it's hard music, so it's hard to produce. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so you guys all have a, a at least one common. You have the commonality running through all of your styles that like kind of bond you. So it's just I don't know. Again, when I think back to uh, last weekend's live net party, it just kind of lets me know that you know we're not alone in our laurels. There are a lot of people across the world that all agree with us and that are all into this music and. You know, it's like that's one thing that I've learned from this lockdown. It's how small the world actually can be, you know, when you do something like this. And again, yeah, it's I only have respect for all of you guys. And yeah, it's definitely so guys. Yeah. Uh... All we need all we need now is for Neuromind to put out another compilation. That's all we need, Marcelo. We need another Neuromind VA. It's, that's your 2021 mission, man. <laughs> yeah, now we are setting, man. Now I have more time to work on it and 
a little bit more active. So we can wait for something nice. We, we, we put some effort to do it. So guys, we are coming to about the time we wanted to finish. So let's keep talking for the next five minutes or something like that. I think it's good time to everyone says bye in a way or we want to explain something or say thank you to the people. But we should stop before the stream stops yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so thank you to yeah. all of you to join us. I'm really happy to have the good friends that are joining us on every stream we do. And also I want to say thanks to all the people is watching and is commenting or is just interested in us. Even if some of us, sometimes we are not that active or we are not that easy to reach. Uh, we have a lot of people that love our music and love us. So it's a good way to say thank you. And I don't know. I'm super yeah, happy yeah, to have you guys here and everyone. So thank you. Maybe it will be the last show yeah. we do. So in case we don't do any more, yeah. because I'm almost free. If this ends up being, if this ends up being the last uh, quarantine night session, we couldn't have ended it on a better note with a better group of humans. So I mean, again, thanks so much for joining us, guys. I mean, you guys all big parts of the nighttime scene, even though you might not always realize it. But yeah, you guys just keep doing it and. Yeah, man, you're really stoked that you were able to put this put this one together, man. Well, uh, my friends, I don't do nothing that special. I just ask my friends because they are my friends if they want to join us in a conversation. It was easy as it is. I just ask my friends. It's the first person I think like, okay, I should ask my friends. <laughs> so. Uh, well, I mean, I it was awesome getting to meet you in person, kind of Marcelo. Likewise, uh, Herman, Romain, I hope. Josh, I, I love you guys. It's been it way too long. We don't, uh, you guys don't. You guys don't seem to age at all, which kind of pisses me off. But it's okay. I'll accept it. And yeah, again, yeah, Manu, thanks, uh, thanks again for for putting this together. Again, if this is the last quarantine night session that we do. We couldn't have ended it on a better note. So kudos to you, Obi. It's like you did a killer cool. job, man. Thank you. So Thank you. guys, say bye. Yeah. Keep it guys. Bye. Keep rocking. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Good you. It was good to see you all soon. Bye bye. Thanks a lot for having me. Bye. Bye. Bye guys. <laughs> bye. For the love of